Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the data analysis part of this practical uh, GIS case study. In the previous um, lesson, we learned about how to acquire data from uh, BB Bikes as well as Dava GIS website. Uh, we've also copied all the downloaded data and created a new folder. And we kept all our data in that folder. So now we are going to transport or we are going to send the data from your desktop to ArcGIS desktop. So uh, Alibaba was first asked to describe a step-by-step -step process of acquiring spatial data for his project. And he has sufficiently demonstrated that. Now the second question talks about identifying uh, real estate developers within a certain radius in the airport residential area that's within a radius of 100, 200, 400 and 500 meters so we should extract all real estate development within that area and prepare a map for management so now we are now to prepare that map as part of answering the the second question so you have to start your ArcGIS When you first start ArcGIS, uh, this is how uh, it happens. You see recent, and that is the recent um, maps that you've worked on. And then, if you want a new one, you can just click New Maps, and then Black, and then OK. So now, this is the interface of ArcGIS. ArcGIS or ArcMap. So now we have to bring in our data. After bringing our data, I will show you how to use some other features to help you to do the work. So there are two main methods of bringing data into ArcMap. One is through catalog window, and one too is through add data button. If you cannot find catalog window, you can just go to Windows and then catalog click on catalog it will open so now let's bring our data so go to folder connection right click and connect to folder then navigate to your folder that you created navigate to the folder you created and connect it and click on mail address and then ok so our folder has been connected now let's bring our data the plus sign means that it contains some data so let's click on the plus sign and type to planet click on it click the, click again click shape bring in buildings bring in line uses Bring in places, bring in rows. So, these are some of the data that we downloaded from BB Bikes. So, places you can open that triple tape to see. 
so the places that we downloaded it are some are from the airport residential area some are also from Jolu and then Kotobabi and Roma Ridge some of the data from that so but let's bring our point points to so let's open the point data the points data contain about 377 points first atlantic bank imperial uh, coco lodge 805 restaurants it's a lot of things that have they have uh, extracted so a lot we were making good use of it and then we have the rose and then we have land uses land uses we have types which are residential commercial and construction so buildings we have about 785 builders that have been extracted with their names and some attribute information so that is the nature of our data so now let me give um, some description of some of the tools that you can see file means that you can add data pay setup print all those so let's save our data real estate estate underscore analysis so our map has been saved so any time that you are working you can click on this to save the uh, your map and we have the edit view data view this we are currently in data view that's a the view at which you work and the layout view is when you are preparing your map putting finishing tactics to your map your grass reports and all those things in book map if you see something interesting and you want to capture it put it later on you use it as a reference or so you come to refer to it then you can use this bookmark insert this tab is very important especially when you are preparing a map how to add title text dynamic neat line legend nofaro selection there are two major uh, selection that you can be you can be done uh, in gis select by attribute and select by location select by location means that you are selecting within a particular location maybe they say you should select all features that are within a particular and enclosed area for example within 200 meters 300 meters contain within that and select by attributes when you are selecting features geoprocessing this is where you get most of the tools to use it for your analysis buffer we'll be using some of the buffer to clear intersect union make dissolve all these tools need detailed explanation but we don't have time today customize toolbars if you want to see all toolbars this is where you get them extensions ad manager and those things overview magnifier viewer table of content this is a table of context all layers are displayed at the table of contents catalog this is the catalog search so if you want to search for a tool that you know the name but you don't know where to look at you can just search it will appear you click on it and you just start performing your work so that is it and then we have this are uh, zooming if you want to see more details you can just take it you if you want to see less detail just click the manuals 
like this and that's it and then the harness for moving the map wherever you want to move it you can use the hand and then fix zooming fix zoom out and this is previous if you want to go to your previous extent that is it next extent that is it and then this is for selections if you want to select something on the map this is what you use maybe this see if you select it this select it and if you want to clear it you clear it from here you can also this for movement of features and all those things and this is the identifier to very very important if you see a feature and you don't know you want to know more detail about that feature you can use this and click on the buildings they say it's a church it's a polygon 43 value you see gives you this Bethes court residential you see you just give the identifier give you more in the details about uh, the polygon or the point And this one is a major tool. If you want to carry out some measurement, this is what you use to do it. You can change the the unit of measurement from here. If you want it to be in miles, meter, that's it. So that is the size, and that is it. So basically, that is the interface of uh, the ARC map. So now let's go straight to our question. Now, we want to identify those residential areas within the airport residential area. That is most of them, most of them are built by developers real estate developers so let's go to right click line use open the attribute table those residential buildings are within a part of this 97 so how do we extract them how do we take them out from the 97 so we will do a special query to be able to extract or retrieve only residential buildings out of the commercial and the construction so come to here select by attributes so i want to perform a special query so select uh, enter where clause to select records in the table window create a new feature take this one and you double click on the type so we are saying that select from land use that means that you are selecting for land use table where type is equal to get value residential so if it sees any place and type correspond to residential you should retrieve it so apply you see it has retrieved about 62 records out of 97 records so all these records are res selected are all residential and there are townhouses that has been built by real estate developers these are the polo heights victor regent liberty court Tyfeld Court, Volta Place, Asafu Ajay's Place. These are these are all of them. So what you do now is to export data. Go to data and export. 
then let's name it um, residential residential and then the part type is a shape file click ok do this do you want to add the exported data to the map as a layer yes so now let's turn off everything that we have leaving only this so these are buildings that are within the Accra Apple residential area and these buildings are built by estate developers so now what we will do now is to create a buffer a buffer of 100 meters a buffer of 200 a buffer of 400 and a buffer of, a buffer of 500 meters around this building so that we will know those that are within this kind of buffer zones so you have to look for a buffer tool go to analysis tool go to proximity analysis and then we are going to use multiple ring buffer we have just buffer one ring buffer and we also have multiple ring buffer let's click on multiple ring buffer and then let's use residential because we are going to do the buffer around residential buildings so that is it residential so the distance i say as i say is 100 click on the plus put 200 click on the plus put 400 click, click on the plus and put 500 click on the plus so now let's the distance let's select the mid uh, the units in which you want your distance to be or the radius to be we want it to be in just meters and you click ok so it's being processed so you have to wait patiently for it yeah our work has been successfully processed yes the buffer has been done around those kind of distances but this buildings are not part of the distances matters this elite apartments this one nearly entered sam's luxury apartments so these are distances has been created so let's just make it more clear here 100 meters 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 and the last one is 500 meters so now we our next task is to find which particular buildings are within the 100 meters and which particular buildings are within 200 meters which particular buildings are within 400 meters and which particular buildings are within 500 meters so with this open the 
attribute table of this they are supposed to be four and that is one two three four because there are four buffer distances that we created so let's pick the first 100 meters Builders that are waiting 100 meters then you close this then go to selection select by location pick residential here select features from you are selecting what from what residential layer and then the source layer is residential multi-ring buffer and then tick this use selected features and click apply so open the residential table attribute table state eight have been selected state eight of those 62 out of 62 records have been selected and the victor regent polar highs liberty core typhoon water place and all those are within 100 meters so so what we do is that we export this export this data this is a residential within 100 meters the shape file do you want to add the exported data to the map layer? yes so open the attribute table of the buffer pick the next one that is let's answer like that one which is a 200 meters go to selection by attribute selection by location pick your residential tick only show selected layers residential this click so let's see how many records have been selected so the records selected are 14 14 records selected so you export this one too residential residential Two hundred meters. So this uh, to a residential two hundred meters. Then you click OK. Yes. So the two hundred has also been added. So this select everything. And then let's go to attribute table then we pick 400 meters buildings that are within the zone of 400 meters residential okay, this. apply and then let's see residential so 13 houses are also within uh, 400 meters so let's export that one too Residential four hundred meters.
and then the last part 500 meters I'll select it first open attribute 500 select by location residential Let's open the attribute table. And this one, eight. Five hundred meters, eight. So let's export it. Residential five hundred meters. Yes. So now we have extracted all buildings that are within uh, the radius that we're given uh, 500 400 200 100 so we have done that so now let's see how it will appear right click and go to page setup i want to be landscape okay i want to be in landscape not portrait Five hundred meters. I can make it maybe red. Two hundred meters, not four hundred meters. Two hundred meters. Let's make it blue. so let's label um, label features go to properties go to labels Hello. I want to be able to see the writers very well. Yes. So let's put cartographic finishing to the work. So insert let's put title Okay, and then you can put 
neat line a line around the hole insert legend this is the legend and then let's put north arrow With that, no far around those things, your map, map is not complete. Change it to kilometers. I can put date. Insert. Put the user, but this one I don't really need it. Then set, you can put the author. So write your name. It's important to also bring the coordinate system here. Basically, that is all about the map uh, showing real estate developers within airport uh, residential area so this is the legend all the right uh, residential about 500 meters that's 500 meters and then residential 400 meters residential 200 meters and then the, uh, this thing is residential 100 meters Let's export our work export map. So if you want it to be in any format, JPEG. I want to be in JPEG. This is the end product of what Alibaba was able to achieve. He was able to connect his data from his PC to ArcMap and then he was able to extract the residential layer uh, within different land use types then he created uh, a buffer around these features he created 100 meters buffer 200 400 and 500 meters buffer after the creation of those buffers, 
he was able to um, do selection by location to select all buildings within those parameters that is 100 meters 200 400 500 meters and then this is the the end product of the uh, his work so our next video will be basically talk about how to draw uh, shots using ArcGIS and then we should also able to classify different land uses within a residential area so we are going to center much on land use types within a residential area and graphs that is partial and partial showing the various land use types within the airport residential area thank you very much meet you in the next video bye bye